subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications. Hi friends, welcome back to Best Way to Study. In this video, we are going to see complete information about number series. We are going to see how to solve number series problems. Okay, we're going to start from basics and we are going to solve ad advanced level problems also. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So now let's begin this video without any delay. Okay. So first of all, what is numbered series? Numbered series is nothing but there will give you a few numbers. First, let's see what is numbered series. Okay. So for example, there will give they will give you few numbers and they will ask you, they'll give you few series of numbers and they'll ask you what number comes in this place. Okay. For example, they'll give you three or four numbers and they'll ask you what number comes in the fourth place okay so like this they'll be asking questions okay another example of number series is they can ask you uh, a b okay they'll give you a series like this they'll give you five numbers and they may ask you what number comes in third place so like this we need to guess we we need to we need to be able to answer what number or what alphabet what number or what alphabet comes in that particular place this is the basics of number series now let's start solving the problems from the from the basic level so that we can understand the problems in a better way okay so first let's see what is what are the basic problems of number series question coming to the question coming to the question 6 12 18 dash 30 okay so this is the question 6, 12, 18, dash 30. So they gave you four numbers and they are asking you what number comes in this place. This is very, very basic level problem. So first we need to start thinking logically. Okay, see here what they gave. They gave 6, 12, 6, uh, 6 12, 18, dash 30. So, if we think logically, we will understand these are multiples of 6. See, 6 ones are 6, 6 twos are 12, 6 threes are 18, this we don't know, 6 fives are 30, okay? 6 ones are 6, 6 twos are 12, 6 threes are 18, 6 fives are 30. So obviously here, so obviously in the fourth place, the, it will be 6 4 zero. What is 6 4 zero? 24. So in this, in this fourth position, the number is going to be 24. Like this, we need to think logically and solve these problems, okay? Solve these problems, okay? So now let's see second question. So now let's see next question, okay? The question is 48, 24, 12, dash. Okay, they give 48, they give 24, they give 12. They are asking what number comes in the fourth place. This is the question. So here also we need to think logically. See students. So just think logically. What is the series of the numbers? Okay. So first consider first two numbers in the series. Okay. 48 and 24. Okay. So first thing which we, which we get in the mind when we see these numbers is when we divide 48 divided by 2 we will get 24. So, first number, when we are dividing by 2, we are getting the second number. Okay, this is the logic. And now, we understood the logic of first two numbers. Now, consider second and third number. 24 and 12. 
same when we divide 24 by 2 we will be getting 12 so when we divide second number by 2 we are getting third number so what is fourth number when we take the third number and divide by 2 we will be getting fourth number so 6 is in the place of fourth number so like this we need to solve and think logically okay so all the problems of numbered series and alphabetical series or alpha numeric series should be should be thought logically only okay we can't by hand we can't use any techniques we can just think logically okay After this number series, I am going to also explain you what is alphabetic series and what is alpha numeric series also, okay? So, coming to the next question. 16, 20, 24, 16, 28, 32, 16, dash see these questions students just don't panic or do, don't be afraid of see uh, after seeing this question it's very very easy it's very very easy see what they give 16 20 24 16 28 32 16 dash okay so now we need to find what number comes in this place okay so first think logically what are the c after seeing this question, we can understand 16 is repeating in every third position. Okay, 16 is repeating after every two numbers. 16 after two numbers, again 16 after two numbers, again 16. Okay, so what is first thing? 16 is repeating. 16 is repeating after every two numbers after every two numbers this we are going to this we understood after seeing the question now what is the second point okay so now just ignore 16 we already found it the logic 16 is repeating after every two numbers we understood that now we need to see what is the case with other numbers okay so let's consider these two numbers 20, 24. Okay. Now consider these two numbers. Like other than 16, we are considering other numbers. Okay. 28, 34. And now we have to find this number. Okay. See, when we considered the two numbers, we clearly understood that. So for 16, to the, to the number 16, they added 4. So we got 20. For this 20, they again added 4. So, we got 24, okay, and again 16 they have written after two numbers and to this 24 again they added 4, they got 28, to 28 again they added 4, so we got 32, again they wrote same 16 after two numbers, so now what we need to do? Okay, so now what we need to do, we understood that they are adding to, uh, they are adding plus 4, okay. So, 34 plus, we need to do 32 plus 4. What is 32 plus 4? 36. So, in this position, we are going to get 36. Like this, we need to solve the problem, okay. 16 is repeating after every two numbers and starting from 16, they have added 4 to each and every number after adding 4 to 16 they got 20 after adding 4 to 20 they got 24 and again they wrote same 16 to confuse you people confuse you people after again to this number they added 4 so they got 28 they added 4 to 28 they got 32 and once we add 32 plus 4 we will get the answer which is 36 okay coming to the next question 8 40 10 38 12 36 dash this is the question 8 40 10 38 12 36 
what number comes after 36 is the question. Okay, so now again think logically. Take first two numbers, 8, 40. Take next two numbers, 10, 38. Okay, so there is no relationship between these both. Both goes into table. Both goes into table. Okay, but... Okay, but we are not getting any logic. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to consider alternative numbers. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to consider the alternative numbers. Okay, so what we need to do when we considered uh, the first two numbers and the second two numbers, we didn't get any logic. Now what we are doing is we are considering the alternative numbers means first and third element second and fourth element okay so what is first and third element it is 8 and 10 what is second and fourth element it is 40 and 38 okay so now let's find out the logic coming to 8 and 10 when we add 8 uh, when we add 2 to the 8 we will be getting 10 okay for this when we subtract 2 to the 40 we will be getting 38 okay so we found out the logic in between the first four digits next con let's consider let's consider these both and these both okay 10 and 12 10, 12 is nothing but when we add 2 to the 10, we will get 12. And coming to 38 and 36, when we subtract 2 with 32, we will be getting 36. So, here we clearly got the logic. What they did is, they are adding 2, they are adding 2 with the consecutive numbers. And they are subtracting 2 with the consecutive number. So like this. Adding 2. Adding 2. Subtracting 2. I will tell you in a more clear way. 8 plus 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. Okay. 40 minus 2 is 38. 38 minus 2 is 36. So alternative numbers. They are adding 2. And alternative numbers, they are subtracting with 2. Okay. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 12 plus 2, 14. So, here we will be getting 14 as answer. Okay. So, like this, we need to solve this problem. So, now let's see next problem. Into the next problem. The question is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, question mark. The question is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and what, what number comes after 25 is the question, okay? Uh, that is the question. So now let's consider... First two numbers and try to find out the logic. 1, 2, 1, 4. What is the difference between 1 and 4? Okay, 1, 4. When we add 3, 1 plus 3 is 4. When we are adding 3 to 1, 3 to the number 1, we are getting 4. Okay, so now let's find out the logic between next two numbers. 4 plus 5 is 9. Here they are adding 5 and getting next number. Here. Okay. When we are when they are when we are adding plus 7 to 9, we are getting 16. Okay. So next is when we are adding 9 to the 16 number, we are getting 25. So nothing but they are adding 3, 5. 7, 9 to the next numbers so that they are getting to the numbers 
so that they are getting the next digit. See, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16, 16 plus 9 is 25. So they are adding 3, 5, 7, 9 like, like this series to get the next digit. Okay, so 3, 5, 7, 9, next is 11. Okay, because see, difference is 2, 3, 5 difference is 2, 5, 7 difference is 2, 7, 9 difference is 2, so 9, 11 difference is 2. So, for 25, if we add 11, we will be getting the next digit which is 36. So, in this question mark place, the, in this question mark place, the digit is to be 36. Okay, so coming to the next question. Coming to the next question, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, question mark. Okay. See this question and try to find out the next digit. Okay. So here we are clearly understanding it's nothing but square, squaring each and every number. Okay. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square, 7 square. So here obviously it will be 8 square, 8, 8, sir, 64 like this. We need to think logically and solve, okay? Okay, till now we have seen multiple questions. Okay, till now we have solved the problems of numeric series. Now let's see what is alphabetic series. Okay, Alpha see numeric series means we are having the question with number series, right? Coming to alphabetic series, alphabetic series is nothing but <clears throat> coming to the alphabetic series, we will have alphabets in the form of series. And we need to find out what alphabet comes in particular place. This is the question. A, C, E, G, question mark. This is a series. A, C, E, G, question mark. Now let's find out the logic for this. A, B is missing. C, D is missing, E, F is missing, G, H will miss and, and uh, the number, missing number will be I because C. They have skipped the middle, um, they have skipped one alphabet and wrote the next alphabet like A, C, E, G, I. Okay, they missed B, D, like they have missed C. After A, they missed B and wrote C. Again, they missed D and wrote E. They skipped F and wrote G. They skipped H and wrote I. Like this, we need to think logically. Okay. So, coming to the, coming to the next question. A, Z, B, Y, C, X. Next question. A, Z, B, Y, C, X, question mark. Okay, so again think logically. First, let's consider the first alphabets A, B, C. Now, let's consider last alphabets Z, Y, X. Okay, A, B, C. So, next we will be getting D. So, first alphabet will be D. Next, say X, Y, Z. So, here W, W, X, Y, Z. So, D, W is the alphabet which comes in the missing place. This is alphabetic series. So now, let's see what is, what is alphanumeric series. Alphanumeric series is nothing but a series which will have the combination of alphabetics as well as numbers. Okay, so now let's see example of it. 2A, 2A, 4A, 2 a 4 b 6 c 8D, question mark. 
first consider the numerics like the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8. It is nothing but they are adding they are 2 to each and every digit. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8 like this. So 8 plus 2 will be 10. So here first comes 10. Now let's count. Let's consider the alphabets. Okay. A, B, C, D. Next is E. So the answer is 10 E. Like this we need to solve the problems. Okay. So yeah that's it for today. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more such wonderful videos. And also don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends. Thanks for watching.